If I told you inside this backpack I have a Mac Pro, keyboard, mouse, and a monitor, a year ago you might have called me crazy. But with the redesign of the 2013 Mac Pro, it is entirely possible, and I present to you the Portable Mac Pro Project version 1.0. Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended two-week trial, head over to huluplus.com slash TLD. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, ever since the redesigned 2013 Mac Pro was announced, the small form factor and the potential for portability was something that really fascinated me. I love the idea, especially because I'm on the go quite a bit of taking the Mac Pro, throwing it in a bag or backpack. Hopefully in the future, they come out with specific Mac Pro carrying cases and then taking that with a Thunderbolt drive, hooking it up to a monitor, it could be whatever I wanted to use, and I would have my personal setup with me all the time. Now that got me thinking and got me looking for a portable powered monitor. And there's a few options out there, but most of them are extremely low resolution, but I actually stumbled across the ASUS MB168B+, which is a 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080p monitor, so you got full HD, and the video and power comes through a single USB 3.0 cable. Now the core of the setup for now is the CaseLogic SLRC-206 SLR camera and laptop backpack, and I've actually owned this exact one since I started YouTube, which is coming up on four years later this year, so it has definitely withstood the test of time. Like the name suggests, it is designed to hold an SLR, or a DSLR obviously, and a laptop up to 15.4 inches. So over the years, of course, I've used this to carry my camera and my MacBook Pro, but because the inside is quite adjustable, I wanted to see if it would fit the Mac Pro, and as you can see, it does. Now, as you can see, it's not as snug as I would like it to be, but as the title suggests, this is setup version 1.0, so I'm going to be looking to improve this, and of course, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Now, as far as the other gear in this project, I am not a fan at all of the Magic Mouse from Apple, so I am using the Logitech Performance MX. If you like the Magic Mouse, then that'll work. It'll save you a USB port, but I am forever a fan of this. It's ergonomically comfortable. It works on glass. As you can see, you don't need a mouse pad for it to operate. And the scroll wheel also moves side to side. So not only do you get vertical scrolling, but you can get horizontal scrolling as well. So for Final Cut and Logic Pro and things like that, it helps make editing easier. Now, normally for my keyboard, I'm using the Logitech K750, which is an absolute killer keyboard. It's solar powered, and it's got a keypad to the right. But in this case, it's not so portable. So for this setup, I opted to go for the Apple wireless Bluetooth keyboard, which as you can see, fit perfectly inside this backpack. If this is a little too expensive, I will post a couple cheaper and portable Bluetooth keyboard options down below. I also have a Lassie Rugged hooked up, which is a combo Thunderbolt and USB 3.0 drive. I opted to go for the 256 gig solid state model, which is extremely fast. It makes a perfect scratch disc and companion for the new Mac Pro. Now the Mac Pro, of course, does not have an SD card reader, which can be a little annoying, but I can see why they left it off. A lot of others are gonna use compact flash cards and things like that. So I added a Kingston USB 3.0 memory card reader, which covers SD, micro SD, and of course, compact flash, and allows you to transfer everything extremely quick with the USB 3.0 connection. So that's pretty much the gist of the setup. Now, as far as how everything actually performs and operates, the monitor, as far as the quality goes, it looks fantastic, but the performance leaves a little bit to be desired. It shows up in system preferences with a 60 hertz refresh rate, but I'm guessing because the latency of the USB connection, it leaves a little bit of lag on the mouse cursor. Now it's not unusable by any means, I could totally use this for a portable setup, but I did want to let anybody know who was interested in the setup that there was a little bit of noticeable lag. Now before I hop out of here, I want to give a huge thank you to Hulu Plus for making this video possible. Now I know most of you guys being on the interwebs know what Hulu is, but Hulu Plus ramps up the awesome and is kind of like upgrading to an HD screen on your smartphone or tablet for the first time. With Hulu Plus, you can catch up on the entire season of currently airing shows. You can watch old favorites or even a movie. You can stream as many TV shows or movies as you want anytime, anywhere. So whether that's your PS4, your Xbox One, your Roku, Hulu Plus has a huge selection of shows like Saturday Night Live, Jimmy Kimmel, and of course, Shock Tank. They also feature exclusive original content like Behind the Mask and The Wrong Man, and they were nice enough to reach out to me and offer those who watch TLD a free extended two-week trial by heading over to huluplus.com TLD. Now, a lot of you ask, how can you help support the channel? This is a super simple and easy way to do that. It allows us to put out the best possible content that we can and you score a killer deal at the same time. Make sure to use that link down below to let them know what we sent you. Aside from that, again, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did miss my 2013 Mac Pro unboxing, that is linked down below and also annotated right here. If you have any questions on the Mac Pro, whether it's configurations, upgrades, or just tech in general, hit me up with a comment down below. The absolute best way to get a hold of me is on Twitter at TLD Today. That is linked down below along with Google+, Facebook, and the gear that I use to make these videos. Again, this is Jonathan with TLD, and I will see you guys very soon with some more 2013 Mac Pro coverage.